We're back to that scenario wherein you need to work with a design created years ago by another designer. In this case, the document is even older, having been created in a prehistoric version of Illustrator from before the Creative Cloud era, before even the Creative Suite era. This document was created so long ago that it lacks the benefit of modern man's toolmaking and employs cave dweller text. Illustrator calls text created by much older versions legacy text, and legacy text must be carefully excavated, dusted off, and reforged into modern text using 21st century technology. It starts with this dialog box. When you go to open a document that was created so long ago, it might as well have been pre-internet, Illustrator will tell you the file contains text that was created in an older version, it's legacy text, and you must update it before you can edit that text. Some people see this and get very frightened. Don't. It's very simple. You can choose Cancel, which prevents the document from opening, and a lot of people do that as a knee-jerk reaction. You can choose Update to update the text into 21st century technology using the latest Illustrator type engine, which then opens the document with the updated text and you just have to resave it to save that new version. Or you can click OK. That will open the document without converting the text. Now here is my document with the legacy text. It still has that legacy text, and you can see there are some other issues going on here, like there's no artboard. We'll have to fix that, obviously. This text will stay legacy text. It won't be updated to modern type unless I edit it. As soon as I try to edit this type, up will pop a new dialog from Illustrator warning me that this is legacy text and asking me to either update the text, which is the highlighted button, or copy the text to a new text object using the new type engine. So it would retain the legacy version as a separate object. In this case, I want to update. And now that one legacy text object has been updated to modern type so that I can work with it in this modern version of Illustrator. Typically, though, you're going to want to convert the entire document's legacy text as you open it. That's the quickest, most efficient way of making the entire document usable instead of having to convert each type object as you go to interact with it. 